much the way she moves. Imprecise or effortless. She's not a piggy. Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a four-star review of Black Swan. I've given four stars, our highest rating, to four of the movies this year. The one I'd most gladly watch again, I've seen it three times, is Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan, a delirious fever dream of a psychosexual thrower starring Natalie Portman as a ballerina descending into madness in far and away the year's best performance. This eye-popping inspired an often demented cross between the Red Shoes and All About Eve channels horror maestros David Cronenberg, Brian De Palma, and Daria Argenta. It's also something of a companion piece to Aronofsky's The Wrestler that far surpasses the earlier film. The Black Swan is probably not, however, for nitpickers unwilling to set aside questions of plausibility or credibility and immerse themselves in an experience that's frequently uncomfortable by design. Much of the action takes place in the fevered imagination of Nina, a neurasthetic 20-something dancer with a thinly disguised version of the New York City Ballet. She begins going to pieces when, much to her surprise and terror, she lands the lead in a reimagined production of Swan Lake. It's a perfect storm of disaster for the self-mutilating and cripplingly insecure Nina, who lives with the infantilizing single mother of failed ballerina played by Barbara Hershey in a claustrophobic Upper West Side apartment full of stuffed animals. Magnifying Nina's neuroses is Thomas, the company's imperious and lecherous dance director played by French actor Vincent Cassell. He repeatedly expresses doubt about her ability to play the more challenging part of the ballet's dual role, the black swan, who tricks the prince into thinking she's the white swan. Thomas encourages the virginal Nina to explore her sexuality, preferably with him to loosen up. But I never see you lose yourself, ever. All that discipline for what? You what? Want to be perfect. <laughs> Perfection is not just about control. It's also about letting go. Surprise yourself so you can surprise the audience. Transcendence. And very few have it in them. I think I do have it in This does not sit well with Beth, Thomas's aging lover and prima ballerina played by Winona Ryder. Thomas helpfully suggests to Nina that Beth's self-destructive streak makes her work on stage more interesting. The greatest threat to Nina's sanity by far is Lily, a sexy, hard-parting newcomer to the company played by Mila Kunis. Nina quickly becomes convinced Lily is angling for her job. In the movie's most talked about scene, the two have some steamy girl-on-girl -girl action after Lily gets Nina drunk and drugged the night before a dress rehearsal. Or is it all a fantasy going on inside Nina's increasingly paranoid head? Either way, this is one ballet movie that women won't have trouble getting their guys to attend, even if a lot of it is about women's issues with aging. Cassell, Kunis, Hershey, and Ryder are all terrific in the year's best cast movie. The huge triumph, though, is Portman, a prohibitive favorite for Best Actress Oscar for her dazzling tour de force as the scavenal and tortured Nina. Black Swan, which repurposes and sometimes remixes Tchaikovsky's immortal music to truly striking effect, is my favorite film of the year. So to repeat, I'm giving Black Swan four stars out of four. I'm Lou Lunick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com.